Hi, and welcome to Deep in the Bunker. Today, the Doomsday Clock remains at 100 seconds, staying the closest to midnight it has ever been for the second year running in its 73 year history. Maintaining last year's grim record means the clock's keeper's perceived threat of global apocalypse has not called off in the past 12 months, citing nuclear holocaust and climate change as the real threats to humanity. But cited the ongoing COVID pandemic as one of the reasons for this year's count, saying we recognise that humanity continues to suffer as the pandemic spreads around the world. This has revealed just how unprepared and unwilling countries and the international system are to handle global emergencies properly. In this time of genuine crisis, governments too often abdicated responsibility, ignored scientific advice, didn't cooperate to communicate effectively and consequently failed to protect the health and welfare of their citizens. They also recommended the US and other signatories of the Iran deal work to restrain nuclear proliferation in the Middle East. Since the turn of the century, the doomsday clock hasn't gone above 10 minutes and has gotten closer to midnight almost every year since 2015. We are now expressing how close the world is to global catastrophe in seconds, not hours, not minutes. Wow, what a somber year 2021 has started off with. COVID, Biden, and the doomsday clock. Let's hope February gets better. But in the meantime, it's been deep in the bunker. Take care, stay safe, stay safe.